Want to learn how a very simple ultrasound underneath your arm can expand your breast cancer treatment options? We're going to teach you all about it. If you've been diagnosed with breast cancer, did you know that your breast surgeon's exam with their fingers of your lymph nodes underneath your arm, called the axillary lymph nodes, is okay, but can miss up to 50% of cancerous nodes? Well, if you have cancer in your lymph nodes, and more importantly, you know about it before surgery, this knowledge can expand your treatment options and completely change the direction of your care. Ask for an axillary ultrasound from your surgeon to make sure you have all the options on the table, and I'm gonna tell you more about it. In this lesson, I'm gonna tell you exactly what an axillary ultrasound is. I'm also going to share with you how Finding lymph nodes underneath your arm with an axillary ultrasound can change your treatment options. I'm going to briefly discuss neoadjuvant chemotherapy, chemotherapy before surgery because many people with cancer in their nodes will benefit from this. And I'm also going to give you some guidance about situations which you can engage your radiologist and breast surgeon and ask for an axillary ultrasound. So let's get started. What is an axillary ultrasound in breast cancer? Well, everybody knows what an ultrasound is. You place a probe with some gel on the skin and look inside the body. It's done to look at babies. It's also done commonly when diagnosing a breast cancer. So most women that have a breast cancer have already had an ultrasound of their breast. But this ultrasound can be used underneath the arm to look at the lymph nodes underneath the arm, called an axillary ultrasound. And in doing so, an ultrasound of the axilla can identify significantly enlarged or suspicious lymph nodes that may be involved with cancer. And in some situations, you can biopsy those with a needle under ultrasound and a little numbing medicine. The key point here is that breast cancer, invasive breast cancer, can spread from the breast to the lymph nodes underneath the arm and lodge there and grow. And it changes how we manage patients who have cancer in the lymph nodes. So it's important to engage your breast surgeon when you first see them. Will you perform an ultrasound of my axillary nose to see if I have cancer there that you cannot feel with your hands? More and more breast centers nationwide are using this technology, very simple technology, to learn more about cancer and to guide their treatment recommendations. So what are the benefits of a simple axillary ultrasound in breast cancer? Well, you want to know as much early on at diagnosis about your breast cancer. And you also want your treating physicians to know the same because they'll have more options to treat you if they know more rather than less. So breast cancer, when found, that has spread from the breast to the lymph nodes in the underarm or the axillary lymph nodes is a more threatening cancer. It can still treat it and cure you of it, but it is more of a complex treatment decision process and it brings more into play chemotherapy and increases in a small percentage the chance you might need radiation therapy, especially after a mastectomy. So node positive disease is something that when we know about before surgery, rather than find it under the microscope after surgery. It expands your treatment options. And again, before surgery, gathering all this information and an axillary ultrasound increases the chance of us finding cancerous nodes underneath the arm. But when you're identified to have node positive breast cancer, your breast surgeon can pull together a multidisciplinary breast cancer team, breast surgeon, medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, and others talking together about you specifically to expand all options and put together the most sophisticated treatment plan. Next, I'm gonna outline one of the main treatment benefits of finding axillary nodes involved with cancer, and that is called neoadjuvant chemotherapy. So how can an axillary ultrasound guide you to chemotherapy before surgery, called neoadjuvant chemotherapy? Well. If you have breast cancer and you are found to have cancer in your lymph nodes, either before surgery or after surgery, 
it's quite likely you're going to benefit from chemotherapy to keep the cancer from coming back and lessening the chance that the cancer threatens your life. A new trend in breast cancer care at more sophisticated breast centers is neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Chemotherapy before surgery for those that we know are going to need chemotherapy. So we can either give it before surgery or give have surgery and then give chemotherapy after surgery. And we feel that there's some distinct benefits of giving neoadjuvant chemotherapy before surgery, such as it can shrink the tumor. You can watch how quickly the tumor shrinks and if it shrinks completely away. In some patients, it's gone by the time you have surgery. Having neoadjuvant chemotherapy before surgery gives you time to step back and think about your surgical options, such as a lumpectomy or mastectomy, or to get genetic testing, or just to sit back and make decisions a little bit more slowly than getting prepped for surgery really quickly. All of this information is key in guiding your surgical treatment options, and it's so important to know a little bit about neoadjuvant chemotherapy and if it applies to you. But more importantly, it's important to engage your breast surgeon to see if you have evidence of cancer in your lymph nodes before surgery. So how do you get a breast cancer axillary ultrasound? Well, most of the time, this starts with your breast radiologist. So if you have an abnormality, a lump or a bump, or they find something on a mammogram, generally, they bring you back for an ultrasound of your breast to find out what's going on and they can kind of guess whether you have a cancer or not in most situations. Ask your breast radiologist when they're ultrasounding you or the technologist that does it to slide the ultrasound probe underneath your arm to look at your lymph nodes in the axillary area. And they might see something suspicious or indeterminate or totally normal. So more and more radiologists are looking at the axilla to learn more about cancer to give your doctors more information to treat you. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario is when you either already are diagnosed with breast cancer after a needle biopsy, you know about it, and you're seeing your breast surgeon for their consultation to guide you in your care. Or you're visiting with your surgeon, you have a lump and you're concerned and they're concerned, and you're seeing them for the first time to maybe get a biopsy or schedule one. That is the situation where you want to turn to your breast surgeon when either one, you know you have cancer, or two, it's a high chance that you do, to ask them to ultrasound underneath your arm to see if there are any suspicious lymph nodes, if they do ultrasound, and if they do that commonly. And if they don't, ask them to possibly send you for an ultrasound of your axilla if they think it's appropriate to look for suspicious lymph nodes that they cannot feel with their hands. In breast cancer, knowledge is power. Ask your doctors before surgery if an axillary ultrasound will give you more information. It could completely change your treatment options. To learn more about breast cancer axillary ultrasounds, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we actually teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.